What's up, YouTubers? Rich here for 2RC Productions. I'm out in the garage here. It's like the end of the first week in uh, March. We're looking at the bullet. I got to pull it out yesterday because it got up to like 45 degrees, which was pretty cool. And uh, I got to take a look at the wheels from a distance. I'm really happy with them babies. Really makes the car look good. So I can't wait to get the other side on and get this thing out driving, but that's not what today's video is about. If you notice, I got this big yellow and black Cobb Cadet lawnmower, zero turn mower in the garage. And I want to give you guys a little bit of backstory. And the backstory is that I moved into this house 16 years ago. I have a 200 by 105 uh, lot. And I bought a 42 inch Craftsman LT series lawn tractor, 42 inch cut with a 14 horse Kohler engine on it and I bought it used. It was a 1989 and I bought it used in 03. And I continued to cut with that mower and make repairs on it. It was old when I got it and I got rid of it about two years ago. And when I got rid of it, uh, you know, it started having a bunch of problems. I was putting money into it. I sold it real cheap. Somebody bought it right away. And I told Megan, I said, uh, we're going to have to start looking for a new mower. And then I was going to buy one right away. And then I waited. My neighbor's a landscaper. And he's like, oh, well, I can I can cut it for you until you, you know, decide what you're going to do. And then we kind of fell into that for a couple of years. He basically cut the grass for a couple of years. And it was really nice because he'd come in in like 15 minutes and the whole yard would be done. And, you know, weed whack trimmed everything. But then we kind of miss doing it and then you're doing it once a week and it's nice to be able to you know you have a week where the grass grows long you're waiting you know for them to come so it got to the point where we kept discussing we're like well we're looking at mowers but we didn't really do anything and we're like this year you know maybe we should look again and then all of a sudden i saw i started looking at tractors and i stumbled across the new cub cadet for 2009 ultima series and i know nothing about zero turns i had never driven a zero turn till today and when I started looking this thing up and doing a little bit of research, and then a cousin of mine uh, owns a dealer in South Carolina, Mr. Oz Engine Works. My cousin Daryl owns it. So I had talked to him, and, you know, he explained, you know, he loves Cub Cadets. Obviously, he sells them, and he's like, this new Ultima series is fantastic. He goes, yeah, you'll love it. And, and I was looking at a 42-inch cut like I had before. And they had the stamp deck with the twin blade. And then I was looking at 46s. And I hadn't seen them in person. They, they were sold out of them in a lot of places. And Home Depot sells these. But when you're going to buy a tractor like this, or you know, a tractor, zero turn, whatever you're going to buy, you're much better off to go through a dealer because the dealer is going to back up, you know, your, is going to support you on warranty stuff. And if anything goes wrong, you know, you have that, the idea is you have that personal service more uh just more personal service behind it versus going into a home depot and buying it bringing it home and then something happens and you're completely on your own you know where are you going to get it service well you could bring it to a dealer if the dealer is cool enough to service it but when i found out my research when i was reading is that a dealer doesn't have to service it they can refuse they're independent dealers they can refuse or just put you on a waiting list and say we're going to let all of our regular customers in that buy from us and take care of them. And you bought it from Home Depot, so you're on the end of the list, pal. And these have exceptional warranties. This unit here that I have is called the Cub Cadet 2019 Ultima ZT1 50-inch cut. And when you go to the 50-inch cut from the 42 and the 46, the 42 and 46 have a stamp deck, which is a basically stamped out of steel one piece. And it's a little thinner gauge, like 13 gauge steel. And they work fine. And they last. But uh, when you go to the Aero Force deck, like I have, this is the 50 inch, you go into the Aero Force deck. And this is a three blade mower fabricated. By fabricated, it's actually bent. You know, they bend this on a brake. It's hand welded. They weld all this together. They put this stiffener on it. It's a much beefier deck. And my thought is. And this is just my personal thought from having a little bit of a mechanical background. Well, it's, you know, I, I'm a millwright by trade, so I understand how things work. Is that if 42, probably not bad. 46, you start getting into a 46-inch deck with longer blades, and there's only two of them. 
they're going to be getting pretty long. So my thought was maybe you would have a little more vibration that way, or if you hit the blade on something, you bump it when it's spinning, it's going to have a tendency to bend a lot easier than a blade that's shorter. Well, this has three shorter blades, and the idea behind a fabricated deck like this with three blades is you're going to get a, a, a better cut, a much better cut, uh, less clumping and blockage. And, you know, if the grass is a little bit damp, you're not going to have as much of an issue. So the question was, could I fit the 50 inch, you know, would it fit my garage? Would it, would I be able to cut the grass with it? Is it going to be too big? And the thing is with these mowers, these Ultimas, is the 42, the 46, 50, 54, they're all the same frame size. The only difference is they shrink up the width of the tires on the back. They narrow them, narrow them up because the deck is much narrower. So the deck is going to be shorter this way. And then the tire has to be shorter this way so you can trim with it. Otherwise, the tire will be overlapping the deck. So this one, you can see the deck sticks out way past the tire. Plus it has a larger tire, which makes it better for trimming. Plus what they do with this mower is they offset the spindle up front. Notice how the spindle is short on the driver's side, or the left side, and the spindle is longer on the outboard side where the uh, exit is for the, for the uh, grass. So the reason they offset the spindle is to make it easier to get around things as well when you're trimming. So anyway, I go from the old tractor I had to a new unit like this, and I was kicking around getting a regular lawn tractor again as well. In fact, all the way up to about the last week, I was contemplating getting the ZT, or the XT2, I should say, which is a tractor, XT2 um, 46, which is a really nice tractor, okay? It's got an armrest on it, nice seat and everything. But when you sit, when the wife and I went into the dealer and actually looked at this and the tractor side by side, there's absolutely no comparison in the comfort from this, this is so comfortable, you know, and the older you get, I plan on keeping this mower forever. This is gonna be the last mower I buy, most likely. And you're spending a lot of time in it, and you know, you get older and your backs get a little stiff. Megan's got some back issues in that. I could drive it, Megan could drive it comfortably. The kids can use it, obviously. They're young, so it's not gonna matter. The other problem is you can go with it, or not problem, but the other thing about going with a zero turn is you can go with a much larger mower for having a smaller yard. It's not that big of a deal. If I was going to get a tractor comparable size to this thing, I w I'd, ha I'd have half the yard to make a turn. And the zero turn, you guys know that, those of you that don't are new, and I'm not a grass cutting guy. I, you know, I want anybody that stumbles across this video to understand that, you know, we're in RC and cars and pretty much what's going on. Well, to me... A purchase like this kind of falls into the, you know, guy thing. Not that women aren't into this too, but, you know, just how they stereotype guys that like engines and cars and snowmobiles and motorcycles and so on. Well, I was just excited to get this as, say, a four-wheel or something. It's a big purchase, and it's just it's something really cool and different. And like I say, the first time I've driven it was today, and it's just a blast. And I thought it would be a lot more difficult and harder to negotiate. And, it, you know, got on, it took about two minutes, and I was already like, man, this is so smooth in the controls and just just a just a fun unit so what i'm going to do is this is kind of the overview first day buying an overview and what we're going to do here is i'm going to take a few minutes and go over the features of on this unit and after the weather warms up which is very cold now the grass is dead and all we did was take it off the trailer this morning and zip around the yard with a little bit to test it and then it, it's in the garage here well it's in the number two bay here where normally the pt cruiser sits it's gonna be going in front of the bullet in the bullet bay, and I have plenty of room up here, but the problem is I have tires up here, Richie's tires, my tires, snowblower, bikes, bunch of junk up here, as you can see, boxes. So I'm gonna be clearing out this front area and getting rid of everything up there, and the tractor will tuck real nice up there. So uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna get onto the options. Okay, getting onto the options. The one thing I want you to notice, and I'm going to turn them on for you, when you turn the key on, let, let's talk about the control panel since we're here. I'll, I'll go on this side. This zero turn mower, the ZT1, comes with a control panel, as you can see, which is to the right of you, and they angle it up on like a 45 degree angle, which is pretty sweet. Because you can, 
see it a lot better. It's not flat. You're not reaching. You just look to the side. It's very ergonomically friendly. Uh, to my understanding, they had an independent group that basically worked with Cub Cadet and gave them all the information and told them basically what what they were looking for, what people as the consumers were looking for in a, in a residential uh, zero-turn mower. So there's a lot of ergonomically friendly options on this tractor. And here's the key, and basically it's just to the middle, and when, the, when that switch goes on, the key switch goes on, the LEDs automatically come on. Now, out of all the zero turns that I looked at, I'm talking, I looked at Aaron's, I looked at uh, Xmark, I looked at Hustler, I looked at John Deere, I looked at Troy Built, I, I mean, the list goes on and on. I looked at them all, and out of all the ones I looked at, the Cub Cadet was the only one with LEDs built into it. And the way they built them in, it's just nice frame, super bright, really cool looking lights. And in the garage here, like I'll shut the light off for a second and show you, and they are extremely bright. Now one, they're on all the time when the tractor is running, and I think it's more of like a kind of a safety feature. Uh, not like you really need it with a yellow and black mower like this. I, I don't think it's in a, I mean, it's basically safety yellow. So if, if a person can't see this mower and they're going to hit you or something, then they got some serious bad eye issues because the mower stands out. It's not like a dark red or a black or something. So the lights is awesome because there's always the time at night where you, you get stuck or even if you want to cut in the dark. So I'm going to flip the garage light off here real quick just to give you an idea how bright these things are. I mean, they light up pretty, pretty darn bright. If I was cutting in at nighttime, I would have no issues whatsoever. So I put the lights back on. Find the switch. Okay, so that's the one issue. I'm going to shut the lights off now, and we'll go back to the control panel. So you have the off to the left, center is on, right is starter. So you kick that on. And then you have hour meter over here. The hour meter shows you battery voltage. It shows you intervals between oil changes. It shows you if, if the uh, engine oil is low, battery voltage, interval, and hour meter. So it'll, it'll show you how many hours you have on there so you can keep track of your oil changes and whatnot. And it'll give you a notice when it's time to change the oil. It'll give you a notice when the air filter is dirty. So it's pretty cool. And this little tiny little digital readout, it gives you a lot of information. It pans through. This is the PTO. It's electronically controlled. So when the engine is running, you have to put the throttle to full. You put the throttle to full, you pull the PTO, and the blades will start. So this is off throttle, anywhere in between, all the way full throttle. It goes in a kind of little notch forward. You know it's in full. And then it has a manual choke on there. So you pull the choke up, cold start, push it in run it you're fine handlebars when they're in the closed position like this this is the safety brake i guess parking brake is what you could what you would call it all the other ones i looked at zero turns had the bar similar to this with a very light foam on the top so very small grips these have oversized rubberized grips that stick it larger as you go back so any size hand you have, whether you're a large, large person, small person, you got a hand like a catcher's mitt, whatever, you can comfortably hold these. If you have small hands, you can comfortably hold them. So what you do is you pull these out to get on this. This would be in stop mode. That would be engine will not start. And then when you get on, you close these, and that allows you to start the engine. The other thing is the seat is completely adjustable, forward, back, you can adjust the sit back if you're real tall, if you move forward. Now I'm about 5'10", and where the seat is right now, kind of to the front, I'm pretty far forward, and my feet comfortably land on the rubberized mat. They're not, like, hanging off the edge. It's very comfortable for a person my size and where the seat is, and obviously you can move the seat way back if you're a larger person. Then getting onto the floor mat. All the zero turns I saw have the sheet metal like this. Maybe they have some some grippy punch outs in there like that for your feet, but it's generally just sheet metal painted. And anybody will tell you, you know, if something, if sheet metal is wet, especially painted and it's wet, which it's gonna be, there's gonna be times the grass is damp or whatever and you're jumping on and off of this thing, you know, you gotta be careful because you'll slip right off of that. Well, this has a raised, it's about a half inch thick, uh, molded rubber foot rest to dampen vibration and give additional traction. 
So again, when they were building this mower, they were just thinking of, of all of the, th the things that a consumer might want. Um, the other cool feature on this is it has a bolt here, and I removed the bolt just for video purposes to show you. And what happens is when you pull the bolt out, you can lift this up, it hinges, but then it pops right out. And then you have full access to your belt and pulleys and idlers, tensioner. You can see everything and get a look at it. So that's pretty cool. It, it hinges and you can just pull it out, put it on the side. One bolt goes back in there and takes care of that. Up in front here, you have adjust, adjusters for centering. So when you're driving the tractor and you're going straight, if, it happen, if you have both handles fully forward, which is full speed ahead, and it drifts to the left or to the right, you can make adjustments on these bolts to get it tracking nice and straight. The other cool thing, and I'll jump up here and show you, is pull the bars out, jump up here. Okay, now I'm sitting in this super comfortable chair. I swear the seat feels like you could sit here for hours. It's fantastic. So you have a foot pedal, and all you do is you push the pedal, and now I'm lifting the deck. And on the left side of me, there is a knob and hoping that this focuses in but basically there's a dial right now it's set at 4.5 which is the maximum cut height and then you go through and you go zero one one point it's quarter inch increments all the way down the line so right now it's say 1.5 i let off the pedal and the deck automatically goes to a one and a half inch cut i push it down i go back to four and a half because the tractor's sitting i put it on the highest setting and let off and that's it it's that easy to adjust it and i mean it's it's truthfully no effort to spin this dial very very easy so the aeroforce deck fabricated with three blades comes with two anti-scalp wheels on the outside and one wheel on the nose to support the nose of the deck they're big and heavy they got seal bearings i would imagine everything on this is sealed there's no grease fittings no zerks these are sealed, everything is sealed, but you know, for the amount that I'm gonna be using this thing, it's probably gonna take me about 20 minutes, I would say, to cut my grass every week. Even if I cut it twice, it's 20 minutes. I mean, I'm gonna fly through this grass. And the amount of movement that you're gonna have on these wheels and that, I can't see these seal bearings ever wearing out. Maybe, this, maybe the uh, spindles on the pulleys, you know, over a long, long time, but I know on my old tractor I had to change those a couple times, but that's a 1989 too. The technology was a lot different. Um, sometimes it's better or worse. I don't know. That remains to be seen. Okay, the other cool feature of this deck is it has a washout. This is important too because decks will get totally clogged up with old grass and it gets like concrete in there and then you're pulling the thing off and scraping it with a scraper. Well, you don't want to be doing that because this is coated with, I believe it's called Easy Coat. It's like a powder coat that they dip this in to keep this thing from rusting. So the idea is to keep the deck clear, to keep it cut and nice and not binding up the blades and everything else. There's a fitting that comes with it that you pop on here, you hook your garden hose up to it, you start the engine up, and then it flushes the deck out automatically. So that's pretty sweet. You got the gas tank fill right here. You lift the seat up. There's your battery storage under the seat. Here's the gas tank. It's a three and a half gallon capacity which is huge plenty big enough all the electronics my cousin was telling me about this daryl he's like you lift the seat you know before you'd have to take half the mowers apart to get to them the rz series like is the older one um all the electronics are right here you can just get to everything all the wiring so that's pretty cool it comes with these uh like polymer isolators under the seat to give you a little dampening Obviously, you can adjust the tire pressure a little bit. If you wanted a little bit softer ride, let a little bit of air out of the tires. The big thing about this is most zero turns have a bunch of plastic material and stuff around the outside. This one is wide open to get to, and it has two-inch tube. This is actually, let's see here, two by two and a half. This is bigger here. It looks like a two by two and a half ac across the top. Yeah, it's definitely wider that way. A two and a half by two, two inch or two and a quarter. It's a bigger tube there. And then uh, this looks like two by two all the way around. And it's fabricated. You can see the welds and they roll this. They put this in dies and they actually, you know, bend these tubes, man. And that's what makes it phenomenal. From a guy that's, you know, I do steel fabrication at work. And I'm looking at the build quality. I'm looking at the, you know, the welds and how they roll these tubes and everything. And it's just very, very impressive. 
uh, how this thing looks, the way they have all the lines flow, and they're giving you major protection, nice and stout, rigid. And look at the engine, though. The engine is wide open. You can get to the cables. You can get to the oil fill. Air filter, just got this, I don't know if I can do this in one hand. Yeah, just swings up, air filter right there. Uh, got all your cables, you got your covers for the overhead valves. It's a, it's a twin cylinder overhead valve engine. If you had to do valve adjustments for uh, noisy valves, that's where you would do it. I talked to my cousin about that. He's like, you probably won't even ever have to touch them. They run, these engines are fantastic. I was thinking on getting the Kohler and my cousin told me that the Kawasaki FR engine is, in his opinion, is way better. He's like, that's the engine you want. Well, when you step up to the 50 with the Aeroforce deck, it comes with the Kawasaki FR 691cc, 23 horsepower, twin cylinder, four-stroke engine. Uh, extremely quiet, runs real smooth. I got a big hill behind me. And uh, I had about maybe mid-throttle, halfway. Not with the blades engaged. I was just I had the deck up and I was just tooling around with it. And I went right up. It's probably like a 27 degree or 25 degree or something. I went right up that hill like absolutely no effort whatsoever. Just drove right up there. Uh, I don't know if I showed you this. For oil changes, very easy. Rubber hose comes down. Just pull it out of there. Push it off to the side. Drain the oil. No mess. No plugs to worry about inside of the block. You got that hose extension. All the ZT1s and ZT2s come standard with a tow hitch for pulling any kind of implements. If you wanted to do a drop spreader, a, a broadcast spreader, a leaf pick, you know, leaf catch, whatever you want. Leaf cart, whatever they call them. You could pull off the back as well, which is cool. The tires, like I said, I believe they're uh, 20 inch tires in the back. They're huge. I think 11s in the front. So these tires are just massive. I don't know if you can really get an idea how big these things are, but they're they're very, very large with an aggressive tread pattern. I uh, should have no problems with traction whatsoever. Uh, you got your output of the grass here. Take a look at that, fold that up. It's got a pretty large opening. You can see the blade there sticking through there. I apologize if the lighting is not the best over here. I have fluorescent lighting, but it's pretty cold today, so the lights are a little bit dim. So I'm trying to make sure that I don't forget any of the options. It's a hydrostatic trans, so basically you adjust the throttle on there, and the further forward you push the lever, the faster it goes. You know, forward on this one and reverse on the other one will give you a zero turn. Or you can just drive straight and just advance one of them left or right to do a slower turn. So very, very cool. I'm really excited about the ZT150 here from Cub Cadet. It is the industry, industry's leading warranty. I believe it's... Three years on the engine, unlimited hours, which is to me has got to be unheard of. Unlimited hours, I mean, think about that. Unlimited hours that you could ride, you could ride this thing and cut all your neighbor's grass for three years and put nine million hours on it, and they're gonna cover it for three years because it's a time frame. And I believe it's five years on the frame and other components or whatever, something like, I gotta look into the details of the warranty, but it's a three and a five, and it's industry leading. It has industry leading cut, best cut in class, in the class. So just wanted to show you guys the Cub Cadet ZT1 Ultima. There will be more videos. I will be showing more videos on this mower as I cut with it and let you guys know how it's doing. Oh, I almost forgot one of the most important parts and that's why I'm walking around this thing just to make sure. The cup holder has a cup holder and a storage, which is a must. You can put your beer there, your glass of milk, whatever you want, your phone. Storage is a must. You could search your uh, Facebook and check emails while you're cutting. I wouldn't recommend that, but you, you definitely could. The seat, that's one of the most important things. I told you it's fully adjustable. It is designed from an automotive seat. They, they geared it towards an automotive seat, so you could be sitting in this thing a long time, be very, very comfortable. It gives like a ridiculous amount of back support. You sit in there, and it, and it makes you... It holds you in a good posture position. It just it just feels so comfortable, like you could sit in it forever. It's got the, the double stitching on there, uh, le leather feel. I don't know exactly what it's made out of, it's vinyl or leather or whatever, but it feels awesome. I mean, it's just super nice. Bolsters, really, really nice setup. I'm very, very happy about it. 
like I said, I'm excited, like uh, getting a four wheel or a car or something. I mean, it's it's just it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's always cool to get something new and have it from new and take care of it and do the service because I know how I am and, and something that I own from new, it's going to stay beautiful. I'll keep it in excellent condition. I'll put coats of wax on it. The neighbors will be laughing at me because why is he waxing his lawnmower? But that's how we roll. That's how I roll. So again, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Oz Engine Works, my cousin Daryl. If you guys are in South Carolina, I believe it's Spartanburg. He's in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Stop in and see him. He's a master wizard at car engines, you know, motorcycles. Obviously, his business is tractors and repair and lawnmowers, and so he owns a, a Cub Cadet authorized dealer there. Go check him out. And then I also want to give a, a shout out to SysTech, SysTech Equipment out of South Wilmington, Illinois. They're about 20 miles from me, and uh, a guy and his son owned the, owned the dealer. Two really cool guys. We stopped in there. I made up, you know, my mind that I was going to buy from a dealer and I wasn't going to buy from a big box store. And we stopped in and talked with those guys, and they were super cool. I answered all my questions. You know, they told me, "Oh, we appreciate your business." Shook my hand, thanked me for coming in there. They delivered it to my house for no charge. Dropped it off this morning. So I want to thank those guys as well. SysTech Equipment, Rental and Sales. In fact, I believe they put a sticker on there, so I'll show you so I don't mess that up. Yeah, SysTech. Man, this the camera's really bugging me with the focus here. I'm not sure exactly what is going on, but it's supposed to be an autofocus. But it's Sales Service and Rental, South Wilmington, Illinois. Look them up. I will leave the links to their business, emails, phone numbers, etc., in, in the uh, comment section below. And that's it. Till next time, Rich from 2RC Productions, signing out. Thanks a lot for watching.